Singer and songwriter Fletcher just teased a new song on TikTok, but it's about her ex-girlfriend, Shannon Beverage's new girlfriend, Becky. Let's just say it's not sitting well with a lot of the internet. What is going on? It is Anna Lawani here, and yeah, we aren't joking when we say the internet, or mainly the LGBT community, is not happy about this story we just spoke about. Take a look at this TikTok post from Fletcher, not vibing with people at all. So much that even Shannon Beveridge has even spoken out. To give you some context, if you have no idea what we're talking about, 30-year-old Shannon Beveridge is a YouTuber who is popular with the lesbian community and has been quite online for some time now. Throughout her videos on YouTube, she shows a lot of her day-to-day -day life and even relationships she's been in, one including with Karen Fletcher. The singer who got her start from X Factor in 2011 dated the YouTuber for a few years and the two kept things, well, a little private. Fletcher had mass viral success with songs from her EP, Finding Fletcher in 2016, to even You Ruined New York For Me. Upon their breakup, the two parted ways during the pandemic and collaborated on the music video for the EP, The Sex Tapes, which was rumored to be about their breakup. And in the end, the two seemed to land on okay terms? Or at least it's what we thought. According to a 2020 feature in Lady Gun, the quote said, throughout the past year and a half, Fletcher has been moving through the process of finding herself at the end of a four year relationship, getting to know who she is now and working on her art through it all. And they left it at that. But in this new twisted turn of events, as mentioned, this new viral TikTok has fans swirling to find out what really happened with lyrics like these. Now people are really wondering, did it mean to physically hit her or hit on her? Though it's unclear, a large amount of tweets have come because of this. One person said, in my opinion, there is no Fletcher and Shannon drama. Fletcher blindsided her ex by releasing a sexually provocative song about their current partner. That disrespectful to Shannon at best and a violation of Becky's consent at worst. This is objectively bad behavior. And another person chimed in saying, honestly grateful that Fletcher has brought back 2014 YouTube lesbian drama, It Feels Like Home. People were just as confused when Shannon posted this tweet saying, an empath would never. I mean, everyone seemed to be confused about this entire ordeal. To call out someone's new girlfriend in a song seemed like a big PR move as some people said, or downright wrong as others mentioned. This actually became so big of a conversation online that Shannon really just wanted to clear the air. In a now deleted video, Shannon claimed that this was not a PR move on her part and that Fletcher did not ask for permission to use Becky's name. Some people did not buy into this video though, like this user. It might just be my big fat giant ego in the way, but I'm convinced that Shannon Beveridge only posted this after seeing my TikTok account got taken down. And just to touch on that, they think I'm 13 again. So we should get Kales back, but right now my mental stability is... Anyways, the reason that I think this has something to do with me, besides the fact that I think everything has to do with me, is because she only mentioned two things that we already knew and I already told you. One, that her and Becky are not part of any PR stunt, and that Fletcher did not ask their permission to use Becky's name. And other fans think that Becky and Shannon are retaliating in their own unique way, like this TikTok user. So Becky Measle just posted that photo of her and Shannon. So that's how they're retaliating. Oh, the drama. <laughs> in the end, obviously you be the judge of this. We're obviously not sure of what is yet to come, but you know, using Becky's name, that is up for debate as some people have said. Other celebrities have used other romantic relationships, other partners in their past life, and dropped their names in songs or written about them in some way like Taylor Swift. Obviously, again, you be the judge. Find us at whatstraining.com and find me at Amy Lawney.